like hot rods? I love hot rods. Yeah, hot rods are really, really cool. A lot of people spend a lot of time and money on them, but I think it's well worth it. It sure is. Yeah, they're so beautiful. They're a work of art. Yes, they are. And we're just going to go see one today. We are? Yeah, we're going to go over and see Mike's hot rod. Oh, great. Can I drive? <laughs> no, you can't drive. But we're going to go over and have a look at it. Okay, let's do it. All right, let's do it. Okay. All right, Danny. We're here. Yeah, that's right. We're here. We're going to go find Mike and we're going to have a look at this car. That'd be great. All right. Let's go see if we can find him. All right. All right. We found Mike. Here he is. He's going to show us his car. How are you doing today, Mike? Pretty good. Knowing you for, what, 37, 38 years oh, now? Long time. Yeah. So, long okay. Time. Let's open the door up. Yeah. You got her. There we go. There's two cars in here, but one's an old car, one's a new car. Yeah. Well, there's the Subaru. Yeah. <laughs> and this is what we come to see. There's the old car. We'll get it out into the sunlight and we'll have a good look yeah, at it. Yeah, can put lights on in here for a minute too if you want. Yeah, sure. There you go. Here we go, we'll get a good look when we get outside. <laughs> yeah, let's pull her out. Okay, um, I'm Mike, Bruce's friend, and uh, Bruce is here with his buddy Danny, and uh, we've come out to look at my car. This car here I've had now for seven years, and it came out of Fort Wayne, Indiana. Pretty much all done, a uh, completely uh, restorated car with a uh, hot rod drivetrain, small block Chev, 350 turbo, 10-bolt uh, Chev rear end, and... Uh, nice paint and upholstery. It was something I was looking for. I did own a 30 Model A two-door sedan before, but this one here is a 1933. Um, chopped, chopped a little bit on the roof, about two and a half inches, and it's got a uh, 1934 grill and hood, so that part's a little different to the car, but the body and everything is traditional wheels and hubcaps to make it look uh, like an older type restoration. Um, it's a great car to drive. It's got cruise control, air conditioning, power seats, um, all around fun car to drive. And I've been having fun with it for seven years, like I say, so I plan to enjoy it some <laughs> much more as well. I'll open the hood and let you see the engine. It's all been uh, decked out with a bunch of stainless and chrome pieces. So it's another another item on the car you gotta polish and clean, but uh, it represents very well. Like I say, it's basically a stock 350. Uh, it's got an RV cam, uh, 600 CFM uh, Edelbrock carburetor, manifold, headers, nice dual exhaust, it's all luminized. Uh, the car is all tiddly underneath as well, so. Aluminum radiator. Uh, dual fans. Dual fans, yeah. Dual fans to uh, keep it cool at about 190. That's the air conditioner pump over there. Yeah, yeah. It's got all nice stainless and braided lines. So whoever built it, which I don't know, unfortunately, I know who did the upholstery. It was a company called Chris Customs, and they're well known for lovely upholstery jobs, which I'll open the door and show you that as well. But uh, as far as the car goes, I believe it was done in a hot rod shop. And there's the upholstery. Sort of a off-white, creamy white. Very well done. It's got a uh, six CD player, 
uh, AM, FM radio. Yeah, all the bells and whistles. Cruise control, like I said, I think I mentioned that before. Tilt wheel? Yeah, tilt steering wheel. And then it's got a Hearts cloth top on it. It hasn't been filled with steel. So it's a real car. Yep. Yeah, it's a, the Bonnie and Clyde style car, but most of the Bonnie and Clyde ones were four doors so that the gang members could hang out the back and let their uh, machine guns, Tommy guns go. Yeah, yeah no, it's a, a very well built car and like I say, I'm, I'm enjoying it. So what do you think, Danny? That was just awesome. Yeah, that was pretty awesome. Do you have one more look at the at the car? Okay, just a sec. Whoa, can I drive? <laughs> no, you're not gonna drive it. All right, we're gonna say goodbye to Mike and we're gonna thank him very much for showing us. Okay, Mike, thanks very much. And uh, hopefully uh, we'll get home and get this out this afternoon or later on this evening. Yeah, that'd be good. And if you really like this video, remember there's about 150 other ones of mine on there. So please like and subscribe, push the uh, thumbs up, and uh, we'll talk to you later. Talk later! All right, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.